What is up guys, Video Game Jam Poop here with a brand new playthrough. It's another Metroid game, this time we're doing Metroid Zero Mission. Oh boy, I definitely love this game. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is also on the Game Boy Advance, uh, along with Metroid Fusion. It's also one of my favourite games of all time, my favourite Metroid games of all time, uh, along with Fusion and Super Metroid. Uh, I'd say Fusion and Zero Mission are more of my favourite than Super though, so... So, yeah. And you thought I was playing the Japanese version, right? No, 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 I'm on the European version this time. Uh, because you can see a uh, language option here, and all that. Uh, let's start the game. And yeah. Uh, and so, and just like Fusion, I am also playing this on Visual Boy Advanced. You can see it, I'm on the European version there. And why does it do that? Okay. So yeah, uh, I'm on VBA again on the Wii, so... Uh, you still have your sound option, you got sound test after finishing hard mode, you unlock this. You get gallery mode. Uh, so unlike Fusion, where the gallery mode was only in the Japanese version. Uh, Zero Mission, Zero Mission has it in all versions. The Fusion Gallery, you get by linking, uh, Metro Fusion to Zero Mission. Then you can get all the Fusion, uh, Gallery images there, even the Japan-only ones, and the two bonus ones that you can't really get in Fusion. But there are in Fusion's files. Or you could get them in Fusion from hacking, but still. And then Original Metroid is, well, the original NES Metroid that you can play. Uh, you unlock that after finishing the game. So, yeah. And there's also another option that's so hidden, but it requires a button combination uh, on a file select screen uh, during this part here. I forgot what it was, but still. I, I might as well talk about that later on. So, uh, so yeah, this time, um, uh, uh, just like Fusion, I'm also going to do hard mode. With Fusion, the difficulties, uh, more difficulties were exclusive to the Japanese version of that game, while in Zero Mission, all versions have... Uh, difficulty selections, so you have easy, normal, and unlockable hard. You get hard mode after being normal mode. So, uh, this is someone else's file I've downloaded online, so I can do hard mode um, easily, so without finishing normal first, but still. I'm gonna do this on normal, so yeah. Let's do this. And Zero Mission hard mode is harder than Fusions, so yeah. Planet Zebus, I called this place home once, in peaceful times long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission, Samus Aran. And it's definitely true. Why is, why is one of Samus' eye blue and then the other's brown? But yeah, Zero Mission! Uh... So, our first ability, Morph Ball. Uh, we get it right here. And yeah. And use that to crawl over here, of course. So yeah, whoa. So yeah, on hard mode, enemies deal a lot more damage than usual. So, yeah. You're gonna have to be very careful when playing this. And there's a lot more harder enemies. Like, I'm dying already because of this. Uh, because it's a lot harder in hard mode. Thankfully, we can regain our health here with this hint statue. Yeah, this hint Chozo statue, they give you hints on where to go. Usually where items or things are. And it refills your energy and, and the amount of weapons uh, capacity you'll have as well. So it will fill, refill them to the maximum amount you can have. And uh, save room, we're gonna save. Now, on hard mode, you want to save a lot. Because, how difficult it is. Uh, so, yeah, you want to save a lot on hard mode. Because it's really hard, this, this game, on hard mode. 
Like, it's it's not that much of a hassle on, like, easy mode and that, but on hard mode, it's very hard. Like, I did it before, but still, it's really hard. Like, taking damage takes, like, almost 50 of your health away, even from standard enemies. So it's best to get more health as you can as well. Go through down here, but you cannot progress yet. You can through down here, though. Wait for that enemy. Because you take more damage. And we go through here. Can't go through up there yet, but we can go here to find another item. The long beam. This is the first beam in the game. What this does, well, it makes it so it shoots longer. Because you you notice we short we are shooting it short shorter. With the long beam, it shoots way far further this time. Uh, so only the first game and this game has it. The first Metroid game and this game has it. The others already have the long beam at the start. So, yeah. Because your beam is already long enough. Uh, we go this way. We find something. Find these two faces. We'll deal with them later. But it does mean there's something here. That way. And then here. Repair. For this enemy! Oh my god. I'm dying already! Oh no! Yeah, and we have Zero Suit Samus right there. Yeah, that's the thing about this game. It's the first game to have Zero Suit Samus as we see her today. Right, I'm gonna go back. Okay, we're back, guys. Okay. Yeah, so enemies do deal a lot more damage on hard mode. So you really want to be careful. This is why you want to save a lot. Because they deal a lot more damage. Right, this one's not really that much of a hassle, but except it was near me last time, so that's why... That was much of a hassle. And I took no damage now. Like, wow. There is another way of getting out of the room where you got the long beam, but by going through the same area, like, go the same part you would use for the short beam, and then you would get the long beam. But it is a lot harder, so it's not really recommend you do that unless you're a speedrunner or a skilled player, but still. Uh, but we've definitely got to go down here. What? What? Come on! Okay, guys, I'm back. Apologies for that. Uh, because of dying too much. Yeah, this is why hard mode is very hard in, in Zero Mission. And, yeah, that's another way you can get here, by shooting these things there. And this is the other way to Brinstar. The other way through Brinstar. Uh, it's through here. We're gonna go here, and there's another safe room. This is why I wanted to save here, because, obviously... I want to try and beat this very quick because uh, under two hours, in-game two hours, so yeah. Alright, um, oh god, no, oh, whoa, whoa, there's too much enemies here. Yeah, there's a lot harder enemies here. There's like those red, uh, there's red, uh, enemies now. Uh, I think they're called zoomers, those spike enemies. And here we find a missile on hard mode. You only get two missiles from these tanks, instead of five, like usually. So that's another that's another bad thing about uh, hard mode for this one. Uh, and we're about to come across a boss, but first I need to save state. Because... Because this fight... We fight the King Worm. And on hard mode, because you only have two missiles, you're going to have to get the third one by shooting these spike things that come out. Which I didn't. Because this will happen. He will leave. And he'll go to another area. And you won't want you will not want that if you want to get this item that I'm about to get after beating him up. Missed. Right, there we go. We have enough to beat him because he takes three hits. So you either fight him now, or you wait until you get more missiles later, to then fight him again later. 
Oh, I missed again! <laughs> Why? Yeah, he is so hard to get on, like, first try. But he is doable. So, if you can do him, I recommend fighting him now. Because you get something useful. Oh, I didn't get any missiles! And he's gonna leave. Oh my god. There we go! There we go. Alright, there's the missile. Can I get it? There we go. I'm gonna take damage here. There we go! Yeah, because he is so hard without more missiles. You get the charge beam after beating him. So yeah, that's what you get after beating King Worm. I think he has a, another name as well, but I think it begins with a D something, I don't know. But um, but I, I prefer to call him King Worm. If you do fail to fight him, he will appear in the next area. The next uh, area that is beyond that uh, hallway that we just fought him in. But we cannot go there yet, because we need something else before going there. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna save the game right now just after beating him. My god. Nice. Alright, anyways, we'll go up here. Oh. And then you have these missile doors here that take one missile to hit instead of five, like usually. Those bugs down there, if there's too much bugs on you, you will take damage. So keep that in mind. Because the, there are more of these bugs on hard mode. And you can't do anything down here yet. Uh, but what we can do is go up here and find this thing right here. I don't know what they are. And you find another missile tank. Yeah, that's what you find here. Alright. And then we're just gonna shoot this thing here. And then because of our charge shot, we can just shoot from here. There we go. Kill this thing. There we go. We got it. Boom. We can go through here easily. And there's something else down there, but we cannot get it yet. Down here, there's a missile. Easily missable. Apart from the fact that there's a hint on the map. If there's a circle, then it means there's an item there. That right there is an energy tank. And on hard mode, you only get you only get 50 more of your health points instead of 100. So meaning it's half of it. And I need that. There we go. <laughs> it's a weird way of getting it, but still. Uh, this room has is something useful. The map room. I can guess what you... You can guess what it does. Brings the whole area of Brinstar. But there are way more places than Brinstar, so... Of course, we are going to find maps for those places as well. And now we find the normal zoomers now. It's like the normal areas have now have the harder zoomers in hard mode. Right. Okay. Kill him there. Oh, no. There is a save room nearby, but there is something we can get easily in here first off, so we're going to get that first. There's another missile door here. Then right here, bombs. We get bombs. So you can uh, use... Um, uh, I'm going to refill here. You can now bomb things, just like this. And you can also easily sequence break with these, because how easy it is in this game. Like, it's still tricky to do it for some people, but it is easier. Uh, because in Fusion, you cannot do bomb jumping too much. Well, you can, but I mean, you cannot do it like this, because it takes ages for them to detonate, and you fall really quickly. But in Zero Mission, they changed it, so you can do that. And over here, you find so many bugs. Kill them all. There, you have to kill them all to get back through this door. Not joking. That's how you open that door. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Alright, and then we'll save the game here. Now, there are a few other things around this area that we can get, but with sequence breaking... But I'm not really good at it. I'm not really good at it, so I'm not going to do them uh, now. I'm not going to do those ones. 
uh, and it evolves going up there. Like, you could do them now, but obviously I'm not really good at it. So, because of bomb jumping, I'm not really good at too much of it. Especially because there's more enemies up there. And you're likely, they'll likely push you away, so. But there's more things to do around here anyway, so. Reason you want to sequence break too much is because hard mode, of course, you only have a certain amount of uh, energy and such. Uh, and obviously you want to uh, you want to mitigate this, so you want to try and get more as possible. So that's why you would want a secrets break uh, zero mission on hard mode more. Uh, so and do not worry, sequence breaking does not mean the game will not let you uh, go past. So no, uh, the game will not circumvent you from progressing or anything. Unlike fusion, where if you manage to get some items unintended, then it'll just not give you the item, but you can refight the boss later on after you do the intended things and then you'll get it. So, because fusion, but zero mission's a bit different in most cases. Don't know about other things though, but still. There's another hint statue here, so it gives us a hint to go to North Air, which we are about to go to uh, after a few more things to get in Brinstar, we are actually going to go to North Air. So, yeah. All right, shoot these things. There we go. Yeah, as you can tell, this is a remake of the original Metroid on NES and Famicom disc system because it even has the same music and that. And we don't need to fight these things again, luckily. Go down here, though. Uh, let's hope those flies don't come back. No, they don't, because sometimes they might do. So this area right here, there's another missile tank. You need to bomb this area, right? This thing right here. Then you use your morph ball to get back here, and then boom. If you had flies around here, this would be a lot harder to do. You, it's still possible to do it, but it would be harder. But still, there was no flies, but if there was, then this would be a lot harder. You would struggle with it a bit. But besides that, if there's none, then it's very easy. And as you can guess, that is lava, and you will take damage when touching it. So, there's nothing else up there for now, so... I guess we'll save the game, then. And yes, these, uh, just like my other Metroid videos, these will be like an hour long. Almost an hour long, so we will do a lot more things in one video. So it's not going to be like, oh, I do this part, and then do all these parts now, and then finish it. No, it's not going to be like that for my series. Because uh, I want to try and make most of my videos like hour longs, because that's what most people want. So uh, I, it depends on the game I play as well. So I think for certain Mario games, uh, so like New Super Mario Bros. 2, I plan to do uh, this July. Hopefully, I can. Then um, I would make these like 20 minutes, but and then some. It depends on the game. You'll see. So, we're about to go to Norfair here. You need the bombs to progress through, as you saw there. And we have the Mother Brain here. Pops her eyeball out. She only has one eye. I don't know what gender the Mother Brain is. Because it's called Mother Brain, and Mother is obviously a female, right? So, because it's like parent thing, right? But, I don't know if it's the same for Mother Brain. If it's different or not. But, uh, anyways, it don't matter. Uh, I recommend saving here on hard mode. If you're playing on hard mode, I recommend saving all the time when you're near a save room. Like, unless you got, like, unless you're really good at it or you're a skill player, then just go ahead. Uh, now, there is a missile tank here, but. Now, you can sequence break this, but. But. But we're about to get an item that can get this thing easily, so. So, it's pointless to do that, really. So, we'll get it on the way back. Because we're literally getting, about to get an item now. Well, not now, but we'll go to an area that has an item. And that is Crateria. Remember this from Super Metroid. But, of course, it's very different in this game. Because it's not like the one in, uh, in uh, Super Metroid. We have these fish enemies here. We killed him, luckily. And I thought 
Right, there's a missile tank here. I thought there was another fish before going to, to like, shoot these areas, along with the one inside there, but apparently not. Unless it's random when some of them appear. But still. And then you bomb here, and then say hello to an area that some of you might recognize from Metroid Prime. Chozo Ruins. Yeah, not to be confused with the one in Metroid Prime. Chozo Ruins, this is the Zebus version. The one in Prime is like the Talon 4 version, because that's where it takes place, uh, Prime. Here, we have an unknown item. Uh, it does not, it does nothing. So, so what are the benefits of these things? Well, you'll find out later in the game. Uh, well, apart from making these shootable, but it does nothing to your suit. And that one appeared to look like a beam, so perhaps there's a beam that's incompatible with our suit. Right, there we go. And then we're going to go this way. In this mouth. <laughs> there we go. And then, fall down here. You have this thing here. Then you want to shoot here. Uh, not morph ball there. Then fall through here. And then you get an item. Power grip. This thing, you can grab ledges with. So it's just like in Fusion. You can do that. So yeah, unlike Fusion where you would uh, have it automatically. In this game, you have to obtain it. Yeah. It's extremely weird, but still. And what the power grip does is that you can grip onto ledges, of course. And I'm trying to... I have to do it the legit way, then. Oh, come on! I'm not good at wall jumping in this game too much, especially with the D-pad. But you can now grip on ledges. I tried to do this quick so I can, like, get that last one up there and then do it there, like, faster. But didn't really work out, so... You can also shoot while you grip as well, so that's cool. And then here... We're in this area. And what is this way? Your ship! When you go in it... It, it refills all your items and you can save your game. Except it's quicker to save. So yeah, and there's nothing this way. Except we need an ability to go this way. There's nothing up here either. Uh, there's nothing up here at all. So let's get out of Crateria then. So yeah, this is what Crateria is like in Zero Mission, unlike Super Metroid, where it was like a big area. It's basically it's you could almost think of it as a hub world in that game, but in this game it's pretty much shorter. Right, now we can go this way in Norfair. Now, we can't do too much in Norfair for now, but we can get, like, quite a few useful things here. So, we'll get them first. Whoa, there's an enemy there. Uh, that went in our way. And there's another missile tank here. Nice! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, we're gonna get that. There we go. And if you're on an emulator, I recommend save state in a lot as well, if you're into save states. Uh, even Virtual Console, if you play this on Wii U Virtual Console, I recommend save state in on that as well, if you're playing on hard mode. Especially in very difficult places. So you don't have to reload the same save all over again. So, yeah. Uh, I was gonna play both Fusion and Zero Mission on Virtual Console and then try to inject a save uh, of hard mode into there, so I don't have to finish the game first myself. But it seemed tricky, so I decided to play this on the Wii emulator, on a Wii emulator instead. Well, it's not, not a Wii emulator, but, you know, an emulator on the Wii. So, which in this case, Visual Boy Advance, and I died. This is what respawning back to the ship looks like. Yeah, looks like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like that. You just raise up when when you reload. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, and it's the only time you can visit your ship. It's weird because when you um, it's when you start the game, 
you see your ship land, but you start in Brinstar, in the area where you would usually start Metroid, the original Metroid. So, making this extremely weird, and the original Metroid uh, only had save features in the Japanese version, but then again, there weren't save rooms. Uh, it, the game would save between areas, so if you went to Norfair, it would save there, so if you reload the save there, you would instantly go back to Norfair. And it also saves the amount of items you have. Uh, it would be the same thing for the English version for the passwords, so yeah. So technically, so most people think Metroid 2 is the first to save. No, it was actually the first one, but only the Japanese version on Famicom this system. Uh, that was the first Metroid game saved. So meaning every Metroid game has save features. Uh, not so people will think no, the first one doesn't, but no, it actually does. But only the Japanese version, while English versions have a password. Uh, so yeah. So pretty much everyone is wrong that Metroid 2 is the first to include saving. It is if it's the first to include saving in all regions, but 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 in reality it was the first one in Japan. So yeah. Right, I'm gonna save again here. And I've got low HP there. Low energy. I don't know why I'm calling it HP when it's actually energy. <laughs> this is not an RPG at all. Imagine if there was a Metroid RPG, it would be amazing. <laughs> like, they could make it similar to, like, Mario & Luigi, but with Samus instead. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, continuing on with Norfair. We're gonna... Right, there is a missile here. I'm just gonna bomb jump here. Oh, emulator was glitching a bit there. When it does that, sometimes it's almost impossible to do things, so... I'm going to try and get the missile. Wow! I kind of got it on first try. Wait, despite a few screw-ups at the first parts, I actually got it on first try. I don't, know if, I don't know if you would class it as first try, but... And I couldn't even tell if I took damage there. Wow. Now, there is something down there, but we cannot go down there yet. Because we need another thing for later. Right. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> because that enemy's in the way. Alright. You would want to go through here. Now, there are going to be more enemies, of course. Uh. Okay. Right, I mean... That no! Oh, my God. Especially these flaming enemies. You definitely want to kill them. You definitely want to kill these. It's difficult to kill this one off screen. There we go. We got it. Okay. This is quite tricky, this, but you get there in the end, and you find another item. This time, the ice beam. Notice that door is green now. We cannot open it at all until we get another item later. And I definitely need to refill everything. And I have, I've actually got 20 missiles, wow. And along with the ice beam. You need to bomb through here. And you can freeze enemies, of course. Yeah, because that's what you do with the ice beam, of course. Uh, over here is a save room, again. And <laughs> it's right next to the elevator, back to Brinstar, wow. I can just imagine on the elevator and go, Oh, hello, save room next door! <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined that. <laughs> Alright, um... Freeze these enemies right here. Or... Screw up there, but... See, it's easy to get back up. Whoa! He appeared right away! Nice! And then, you want to freeze this enemy to go past. And the ice beam is almost completely broken in every Metroid game, because you can stand on enemies. The first game, it's not really useful too much. Same with Metroid 2, but in all other games, it's almost broken. Well, in Fusion, you couldn't really use the Ice Beam. It was only at the end uh, of the game. And you can't have it permanently. It's only for the final boss. So, 
Yeah, so that hint statue brings us to an area called Crade. Well, in reality, it's Crade's Lair. There's also Ridley's Lair, so, but for some reason, they just call it Crade and Ridley in this game. But, but it is Crade's Lair and Ridley's Lair, so, yeah. And right here, we all find, you can find another missile tank. Just shoot that, and then boom, it's there. 22 missiles. We're getting a lot of missiles right away now, wow. And it's, and it's amazing. Uh, now this way. There, there is something this way. But I'm not going to do it yet because... Because that way is a hot room. And while you can, you can technically go through it, because there is a missile tank that way. And that's it. There's nothing else. But I'm not going to do it because there's a lot of enemies in there. And of course on hard mode, uh, it's likely to die easily. So, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, now, but if I was on easy or, or normal mode uh, and use safe states, I would definitely do that now. Uh, but on hard mode, I wouldn't risk it at all. Just because the amount of health you have and the amount of missiles you can have. So, that's everything we can do in Norfair for now. Uh, I, I'm still going to save. Because I still recommend saving. Because obviously there are enemies everywhere. Well, I don't mean like every room, but I mean most rooms and you definitely need the ice beam to go up here normally i guess you could do this without the ice beam but it will be very hard uh without taking damage because when you take damage uh you don't you no longer spin in midair oh enemy was in the way all right all right so now we can get a few things now we can go to that area that, that i said i could try and sequence break but i could not do uh, because because there's a lot of enemies up there, those flying enemies, you can uh, freeze them and stand on them. So we're going to try and do that now. As well as get an item that you're not even supposed to get uh, after getting... Because there's another item you can get in Norfair, but you cannot get it now. Uh, you have to go through Crade's Lair first. Progress through there and then get it through Norfair there and then go back to Brainstar to get it. No, we're going to do it... We're going to do it this way. Uh... You still need the Ice Beam. Uh, I guess you don't need to, but it is easier with the Ice Beam. So I do recommend it. Like, you don't have to use the Ice Beam, but... But it is easier with it, so just get the Ice Beam. See how I did most things legitimately first, but now we're gonna do it illegitimately now. We're gonna get these items way early. Because how broken this game is. Uh, definitely recommend you do this. If you're playing on hard mode as well. So then it will make the game significantly easier. It'll still be hard. But it will make it a bit easier for you. So you won't have a lot of trouble. So, yeah. And because we have the power grip, we can also grab a ledges still. Uh, it's also why you would want a secrets break as well. Because you won't have the power grip as well. So, you still need to wall jump here, but... And here, but then again, and I think bomb jump here, but you don't have to do a lot of it. Can I do this? Yes! First try, and I didn't even save state. Wow! And be careful of these enemies, because if they explode, the explosions can hurt you. Oh, this missile. Another hint statue you can find here. And where does that lead to? North Air. To a place we can't even go yet. But we will later on. <laughs> he exploded right as he sat down. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, explode when he sat down and then it exploded. Wow. There's nothing we can do down there yet. But there's another missile tank here. We can get... Now, save room here. I recommend saving this. And save stating as well, if you're on an emulator or virtual console. Because what we're about to do is very tricky. I'm going to save state, and wow, it was back when we fought the King Worm. Wow. There's this enemy right here, and there's a secret. There, there's an item you can get. And if you get this enemy up here, you can do this without it, but it's easier with it. So you need to get this enemy 
up here by destroying all of these. So you need to destroy all these blocks to get the enemy in here. It's easier if the door was shut as well. Now, of course, you don't have to use the enemy for this, but it will be much easier with the enemy up there. So the only tricky part is getting him in. He won't get his ass in here. Get your ass in there. It's your bedroom. Do as your mama dolls you. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um. Right. I think we failed anyway. And yes, you can still die. So I'm gonna load. Stay here. Oh, and you freeze him once, and you try to freeze him again when he unfreezes himself, it will kill it. I'm not joking. So do not shoot him while doing this. Otherwise, he will die the next time you shoot him again, even if he unfreezes himself. So the ice beam's not too perfect, but, but it's perfect enough. Right, come on. There we go. He's up there. Right, he's still up there. So then, you can freeze him here, and then boom. And now this part here, I definitely reckon... Now, now, let me just show this off. Freeze him again. It will kill it, so... So now, I would recommend save stating again, just to do this. Bomb jumping up here. Oh. Yeah, you have to shoot that first before doing this. Yes, there we go. First try, actually. Almost. And then here, you're not really supposed to get this item yet. But thanks to that trick, you can do it. And you need these bugs to kill these things. Then if they all go onto you, just kill them. And you go through here, and, and then after this part, I'm going to save state again, because this part is really hard. Alright, save state again. Overwrite this part, because we've gone past there. Right, this part right here, you need to bomb jump up here. Oh, I almost got it on first try. Oh, almost! Oh my god, third try. That was... That was nice. Right, we can get this now. Wow. I can't believe it. And you get the various suit, or various suit. You're not even supposed to get this item yet. <laughs> not even before Kraid. Uh, the Kraid, uh, Kraid's Lair. But because of that trick, we can get it really early. So, we can completely break the game. So with this, you no longer take damage in this lava. And we and there's an energy tank we can get here. So, yeah. So, yeah, we completely broke the game. Thanks to that. And for some people, this would take, like, ages to do, but... This took me, wow, it, it, it's basically almost like, almost five minutes to do this, wow. I, I can't even believe it. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, I apologize about that, guys. I thought someone broke into the house or something, but I don't know. And yeah, by the way, you can look at this map in. You can even look at your status as well. Oh, and because I've got I've got this uh, cheat enabled, uh, patched into my ROM with like a cheat patcher, so it injects like cheat codes into your ROM so you don't have to enter them. And I've enabled this for my European ROM where you can disable certain items. You can't disable everything though. Uh, you can't disable the various suits so you can't go back to your uh, normal power suit but you can disable like your beams. So what this means I can also look, I can also show off what certain beams look like when they're not collide with each other. Because every beam collides with each other, and you usually don't get to see them normally. But but with this, or if you like sequence break too much, then you get to see what certain beams look like. 
It's amazing. And I recommend saving after this. Because, because you've done that, I recommend saving it right now. So, yeah. So, if you, if you want, if, so if you're following along with this, uh, try your best to try and get the various suit early. If not, then you can get them, you can get it how you, you would usually get it, but, but, of course, I, I like to sequence break things a bit, so, yeah. Right, we can get another missile tank here. We can get a few more items, actually, wow. <sighs> While we're here as well. Ah, uh, we took damage. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna try not to die. Because we're about to go to Craig's Lair anyway, and it's literally down here, so... You can also shoot these. And these don't save automatically, those things, but the other ones you would normally shoot do. There's something else we can get here. And it is here. That we get here, right there. We go here. And then we find a lot of enemies here. And a few more bugs. That we need to bomb. There we go. And we find another missile tank. And you find something else here that we cannot get yet. That is the super missiles. Yes, there are super missiles in this game as well. Just like in Super Metroid. Uh, they, those are completely broken. As well. Uh, so, yeah. Right, we're going to save room here. Definitely want to save. We've got 16 energy. Oh, it's the same age as me. <laughs> and we can get another energy tank here, believe it or not. Uh, not this thing here, to refill our health. But literally, one of these shriek bats here, we can freeze it. Or, or we can just bomb jump up here instead. Oh, I almost got it. Yes, there we go, second try. Yeah, much easier than Super Metroids. Yeah. To get that energy to get that energy tank. So now we can go down here. This is where Craig's Lair will be. So we go down here. Whoa. We go through this door. You see this monster thing at the face? That means we're entering a lair. In this case, Craig. It's just called Craid for some reason, but it is Craid's lair. And we shoot that uh, missile door. And there's something hidden here before we save again. And there's a missile tank here. There we go. I'm going to save again. Nice. Nice. All right. There we go. And we're going to continue on. I'm gonna go this way first, through Craig's Lair. And because we have the various suit, this place is completely broken now. Because this fire, this lava, no longer damages us. Because we have the various suit. If we didn't, then this will damage us, the lava. Of course, because you would saw earlier. So, yeah. Oh, and these enemies. Uh, now, usually, you would have green ones at first, but... Now we have red ones, because we're on hard mode, you have a lot harder enemies earlier and such as well. Unlike Fusion, where the enemies would always most likely be the same, uh, with only some exceptions. We'll kill him there. And the red, these red ones, they're different. The green ones would just die normally, and when the red ones die, their eyeballs fall out, and they also hurt you. So, you want to be careful. There we go. Got that. And we can go through here. Wow, we got up there quicker. It's not how you're supposed to do it. Uh, if, you, if you're a normal player, but still. And there's that thing up here that we could slide on, but it don't work. I wonder what's up with it. Go down here. Find this thing here. There's nothing up here. We go back up here. But we find these red enemies here. You want to be careful of their eyeballs because they do drop off and they will hurt. You go here. And you activate 
this slidey thing, so you can now grip onto the, to, onto this thing and slide along. And we've got an energy tank there. And a save room. Two useful things. We definitely need full energy before this, because we are about to come with a boss fight. Well, not Kraid, but... But there is another boss before Kraid. Uh, this thing, we meet... The Acid Worm! Yes, or his, his other name, Mua, but I prefer to call it the Acid Worm, so from now on, it's Acid Worm. So, oh, we missed. So what you want to do is you want to grip onto the ledges and then shoot him right there. And you'll have this lava rise up, but because we have the fairy suit, no more damage. Right. 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 Wow, he's almost dead, so the only way we can hurt him now is to... You would usually stand on this to, like, dodge the fire and that, but because we have the various suit, we don't need to do that. Come on. We almost killed him, so this is how you would usually do it. You can also shoot these buttons for the thing to come up in another place. He's almost dead. There we go, we killed him! Yeah, you get a lot of missiles from him. And then here, we're going to go this way to find another secret. Shoot that and then grip through here. There you go. And then go here and then missile tank. Missile tank. Or is it missile tank? I don't know. Some people say missile. Some people say, say missile. I don't know what, it's act what it actually is. I don't know if it's a country thing. American versus British. But, but I'm just going to call it missile. I don't know if that what it is. But you can call it whatever you want. Right, now we can grip through this easily. And then, go through here. Oh, and the proper way you would go up here is you would shoot this thing up here as well. Yeah, that's how you would usually get up here. But because we sequence broke, we don't need to. <laughs> So shooting that is completely pointless. Uh, so now we're going to continue this way. Whoa, there's a lot of enemies here. Oh, and these things are back. Need to... Oh, nice. Oh, and again. Wow. Oh, it smells. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to save again. For right here. I'm going to drink my cup of tea. Oh, nice. Better for my throat after too much talking. Wow. Alright, here we go. So yeah, all of that area, all of that area right there is just for the acid worm. The rest of it is for Cray down there. Oh, and you, if you press the A button, you can also view the map. Well, kind of, of what places we're in. So we're in Cray, and then the next to us is North End, and above us is Brinstein, and then Cray Terry is there. So yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. There's another missile door there. But we'll not go through there yet. Yeah, and those missile doors, they only... They're only, like, temporary. Because once you shoot them, they'll go back to normal... They'll turn into normal doors. So... So you can literally shoot them and not go in that room. Just to turn them into normal doors. And there are a few secrets around here, but you cannot get them yet. Uh, there is, like, an item you can get, but you can't get it yet. So... You have to come back for it. Uh, for this room, there is definitely something here. Oh, there's this enemy right here, which takes a few missiles to kill. Right, and then kill him. And then there's another one of these above. It's this one right here. This one is easier, though, because it doesn't jump. There we go. We killed it. And then what do you get for all of that? A missile. Yeah, not a big reward, but still. You can go down here. And then get hit from an enemy. For no reason. And then... There's nothing else here. But this is the rest of Kraid's lair. Down here. And I think this way is just... Other random stuff. Oh wait, no, this room... Uh, is where a missile is. And you notice... Yes, you can use your, you can just use Morph Ball to grab on these ledge things as well. So, yeah. So what you do here, 
So you grab these, then bomb this, and then do that. And you can kill these enemies as well, believe it or not. Yeah, you think you could not, but yeah, you can. Uh, but you won't think you would. You don't really need to, anyway. Because, uh... Because you don't really get anything after killing all enemy enemies, but still. Right, so I'm gonna shoot these. And then, yeah, we kill them. We don't need to. And we use the Morph Ball here. Then you get a Missile Tank. That's how you get it. Then you can just, like, go here. But still. So, no, these enemies don't have to be killed. So, you can, if you, you can kill them if you want. Now, this way, use your Missile here to shoot that. And then here, you also need a Missile. So, you can't progress through this room. But you can go through this way, though, from up here. So, yeah. And we're gonna go up here. Oh, except this is just another way you could go through Crate's Lair. So, yeah. We're at the bottom of it. Yep. We skipped all that grey there. So, yeah. You could wall jump back up there if you want, but still, we're not really gonna do that. There are two more doors up there that we've not gone through, I don't think. No, I don't think we have them. Alright. Right, I'm going to kill more of these enemies because it almost looks like he was standing in midair, but no, it was that ceiling there. I was like, oh, this this place is definitely useful. First off, we're going to kill all these because there's a map room here. There we go. It just fills some of it. Yeah, the rest of Kraid's part, where you get to Kraid, are classed as secret places. <laughs> I have no idea why. But it don't matter. Anyway, so we can uh, go through. Kill everything again. Yeah, I might as well refill my missiles while I'm here. As well, because it's very useful. And then there's another missile tank here. The way you get this one, though, is quite more harder, though. It's a bit harder, though, but it's still easy. Uh, this time, you want to bomb this while this is facing, like, uh, while this is going left. And there you go. There, nice. Got that on first try, actually. Alright, there we go. And then there's another door on the other side. Uh, we're gonna go through here. Uh, I don't know if this one's useful, though. No, it's not, because we'll get out from that side. That top one is also not very useful for us for now, so I'm gonna continue that way later. Uh, let's go back to where we found that, you know, where that missile room that we couldn't go through? Yeah, let's go back through there. Oh, come on. Let's re-enter the room and then get back in. Okay. Go here. There we go. In fact, can you, can you actually, yeah, you can, you can use bombs to destroy doors as well, that's weird. Alright. Okay. We go here. Okay, uh, this way, I don't think there's anything... Yeah, you have to get something else for here first. Uh, for here, you find another unknown item. This one's different, though. And yeah, let's refill our energy and missiles. 42 missiles? Oh my god. And it's been like 50 minutes already. Right, let's go to the other room. I, uh, I think this was I think this was a save room. Yes, it is. It's a save room. Good thing we've done that all that first before saving. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Uh, now the way you get out is through that thing up here where you shoot it. Oh come on! Whoa! Those enemies were following me, and then and instantly I just uh, wow. And did I just shoot that off screen? Oh my god, I did! 
<laughs> wow, and we can see the rest of the door up there, and there's a bit of glitch there as well. Wow. Now this area is getting way better than usual. Thanks to all the glitches. <laughs> and almost looks like he was grabbing me. Come on. Alright. Save room. Oh, there's another save room when we just saved. <laughs> but I still recommend saving. Too much. Because there's a lot of things here. Uh, what's this way? Uh, let's check this way first. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah, this is the, um... This is the way to that uh, missile room, so we're gonna... I guess we'll shoot that now. Yeah, it's right here. So that's how you would get to that room. You can go through here easily now. The missile blocks don't come back. Whoa, 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 okay. Right, I'm gonna save again before going down there. That secret room, so we're gonna go here first. See, complete. And we're gonna go through here. And down here. And wow, we got, we grabbed that ledge, wow. Uh, there's nothing else through here, by the way, so. But through here, there is something useful. Here. It's a boss door. Just shoot it. Then it's dead. And then here, we're about to fight Kraid. I'm gonna save state this. Now, I'm usually a god at doing Kraid. Let's see how I do here. We have an introduction here. Wow. Alright, come on. Wow, I'm almost, he's almost dead. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Yeah, he's almost easy. Except not at the same time. Yeah, there he goes. Let's put ice in your mouth. <laughs> and he's dead. And there's a useful item this way you can get. And what is it? Speed booster. And you can guess you can run you run fast with this. And I'm gonna refill my energy and missiles, because I definitely need to. And with the speed booster, I can show off what it does. You can speed boost. And also do shine spark like this. There you go. That's what you can do. Right, so I'm gonna uh, save state this because I'm about to do something here that involves the speed booster. We're gonna run through here. Oh, missed. Alright, but you would speed through there and then you would do like something else. And I really want to do this. All right, here we go. Then we're gonna go up here. Nice, isn't it? We're gonna go here. Oh, hold on. I wanna try and speed boost for you. And then speed boost for here, and then boom! You get a missile tank here. Then what you can also do while you're here is fall down here. Oh wait, no, no, uh, it was from the other room. That's it. Was there something else around here? No, there isn't. Okay. So yeah, that's what you can do here. Alright, go here. And there's just a save room here. Right, I'd say we do a few more things and then end the video off. So, I'd say we do the rest of Kraid that we can do and then 
when we get to a save point, uh, then we'll end the video off, and then the next video we'll do North Fair. Well, uh, North Fair, so, yeah. Right, so, from here, we'll just... Because I want a shine spark here. Go through here, easily. There you go. Except it's not easy to get out because of this. Look at this madness, and then you fall through here when that happens, so definitely not recommended to do this. Shine Spark. Right, so what I do recommend here instead is you grab onto this and then and then just shoot these with the missiles because they'll die instantly. Otherwise they'll all go on the rampage on you. <laughs> and then that'll happen. Um... There is one more missile to get, but you cannot get it yet. As for the other energy tank, well, you can actually get that now. And we're doing that before leaving Kraid. So... Alright. Oh! I almost had it. Alright, here we go. I want to try and do this. Here we go! This way! Nice. And <laughs> we froze him while we got frozen during the animation there. Wow. That's so funny. Alright, a speed boost through here. Oh, it didn't didn't really work out, but okay. Uh come on. Uh, yeah, we'll save here because there's a few more things we can do before getting out. Uh, so, I'd say when we go to North End, we save there, we'll end the video off. So, we can do a few more things in Brinstar as well. So, yeah. Here, we have a short cutscene. Okay. It's Ridley. back in Brinsaw and that statue is now destroyed and enemies are coming out of it <laughs> so yeah and then there's a missile door here and then another hint statue right here now you don't need to use hint statues to 100% the game they're just very useful so you don't actually need them so to finish the game but still and there's nothing else around here but we do have an energy and missile refill. That's good. Right, there we go. We go through here. Yeah. You don't remember statues breaking in the original Metroid, but now you would in a uh, zero mission. And up here, we can find a missile tank here. You could get this early, but before going to Kraid, but. But it's literally on the way out anyway, so you don't really need to. Plus, yeah, well, you would have enough missiles to to find before fighting Kraid anyway, so... Um, let's refill again. We didn't even need to! <laughs> wow. Alright, we'll save again. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else to do in Brinstar while we're here. Uh, I don't think there is, but... Alright, uh, I can just check on the map. Well, 41 minutes of in-game time, and it's been one hour of recording this. Wow. And that fire there, by the way, that's just indicating the statues. So we've beaten Kraid, but not Ridley, so we need to bite Ridley first. Uh, I don't think there is anything else. There's a lot of these grey part areas, but... Still, we'll all be going back up there. Anyway, because there's a few more things we can do there, but we cannot do now. I don't think so. I'd say we head to North Fair, and then when we save there, we'll end the video off. Uh, because the rest of the video, the first parts of the next video, will take place in North Fair, so. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do, do, do. 
Yeah. And I don't know if there's a way to get that super missile tank early, but... Like, I wish there was, but unfortunately there isn't, I don't think. So, uh, I'll have to get it legitimately. Legitimately. Unfortunately. Because you can speed boost with the, uh... With the, uh, Morph Ball as well, but you need the, uh... You need another ability before you can do that, so... And, uh, which is the High Jump ability. Which also gives you the Spring Ball or Jump Ball ability. Uh... Which we have to get in North Air, so we can get that along the way, so... Right, back in North Air, and we're gonna save, and then we'll end the video off. Uh, we'll just go down here. There we go. Right. Right, I'm gonna end things off here, guys, so... Next time on Metroid Zero Mission... We will tackle on the rest of the game, starting from North Fair. And, uh, hopefully... Um... And hopefully we can, um... Uh, do the rest of the game. So, I'll see you guys then. Video game jam poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!